needs to see because people go through different kind of problems in life and they don't believe that there's there's hope for survival. Now you coming in and helping this lady believe that regardless of what she's been through, the scars on her face could still be fixed. It's a model having a very disfiguring accident in a car. So what could go worse? But she never stopped her positivity. Over two decades. Right. What I is that? I feel old <laughs> That's a long time now. That's consistency. You can do a lot. Yeah. How do you know when a person needs a face lift? Face lift? Do you think I need a face lift? Oh, absolutely not. You will never need surgery. At least not for a long, long time. I have to. If a person has done any procedure, like can you tell what that procedure? Oh, you look totally natural. <laughs> I You're right. never <laughs> As life has a way of slapping you around a little bit. Do you think this experiences with you from the clinic to your home? Get to the next stage despite adversity. But in medicine, I, you know, I've had to deliver some bad news. And, and I always try, you know, when I deliver the bad news, I always try to have the person leave the room with a positive out spirit, an indomitable spirit. She cannot be struck down. What made you believe that you can help? She was very positive. It's how we deal with those adversities that kind of determines what the quality of the person is. And here's a person who had every reason to give up. It's all about her spirit. Crushed her dream. But then you came in and helped her revive that through your signature procedures. Uh, why is she so positive? These, uh, one terrible thing after another happened to her. Yeah. And why is she so positive? A spirit, an mm -hmm. indomitable spirit. She cannot be struck and rejuvenate the hands. So previously, it was always the hands that gave people away. Mm -hmm. They'd have wonderful work on their face and they look young. Yeah. But then you look at the hands and you know instantly that Something the two done. didn't match. You feel that you're in. You just look at how things could be done differently and prove that area. If you age gracefully and you age well, well, that's nicer. Wow. So that's that's really more of what plastic surgery should do rather than make a 50-year-old person look 20. That's not going to happen. They may look really tight, but they're not going to look twenty. How are you? Hi! I'm in Beverly Hills, California with one of America's top brand surgeons in Beverly Hills, California.